Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakah Kodash. Um, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. The peace and salutations are to the elect of the nation of Israel and to the speck of burial Israelites that are scattered abroad that look like the heathen nations to y'all say Shalom and are scattered abroad, starting off with the 144,000, which will be the ruling governing body in the kingdom of heaven. Um, and the rest of the elect as well, which should be men, women, and children outside of the 144,000 that will be saved in this time. I also want to say that the Israelites are who you call today, so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Jamaican, Haitian, Guatemalans, the Panamanians. Those are the Israelites always have and always will be. This is your brother, Jeremiah. Come back at y'all with another video from End Time Headlines. Um... As y'all can see, it says Elon Musk says there will be 1 billion hum humanoid robots on Earth by 2040 now. You know, I want to say, you know, hey, these devils, they they think they got all this time and they think they're going to be able to fulfill their heart's desires, but it ain't going to happen. You know, the, the Lord is going to get to a, allow them to get to a certain point, you know, but, we, you know, we ain't got no 2040. We ain't got to that long, man. I highly doubt the Lord's gonna allow us to go that much longer in this captivity. You know, most of the prophecies is popping off. You know, I, I personally, speaking as a man, I believe that most of the elect is, you know, sealed, or if not already, you know, they they all the way sealed. You know, we're just waiting for a few more prophecies. You know, um, but yeah, you know, this devil man, you know, he he speaks great things. You know, he says a lot of things, he, you know, the, the Lord gave this man technology and he thinks that has made, you know, that's basically, you know, made made him uh, think more highly of, of himself, you know. But um, I want to get this scripture in uh, Psalms real quick. Psalms chapter 10, verse 3, it says, for the wicked boastive of his heart's desire, meaning your heart is your mind, right? And this man's desire is to basically do away with humans you know, really the Israelites, you know, with the people that I mentioned, you know, us so-called black friends, Native Americans. And he wants everybody to get that see hip. He wants, you know, a complete uh, makeover society, which the society you currently got, this is your kingdom. Ain't no restructuring. Ain't no doing it over. And nah, this is the last, this is your last thing you got that the Lord gave you, you know. Then, hey, the Lord's going to allow you to almost get what you want, but then he's going to throw in that monkey wrench, you know. And like I said, we ain't got to no damn 2040, man. You know, it says, I'm going to read it again. It says, for the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire. Remember, I said, your, uh, your heart is your mind, right? And blessed the covetous, you know, from the Lord abhorred, right? It says, verse 4, it says, the wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after Yahweh. Yahweh is not in, at all in his thoughts. And, you know, if the Lord was in their thoughts, they would definitely not be saying no shit like this. <laughs> you know, they will not be saying that. They will be wanting the Lord to come back. They will be, you know, but that, it's not in them to do to do right. You know, the Lord made, you know, and Elon Musk is a so-called, you know, I'm going to say so-called because that's what they identify themselves. You know, when you walk around on earth, they say they're, they say they white. The Lord didn't make nobody white. That's not a race, you know, or black. Black is a damn color. We're not black, you know. You don't see nobody silver walking around or yellow. How come light skinned people, you know, are, aren't called yellow people? They're not. That's not a race, you know. Um, there are the Edomites, you know, of the Bible, which is the nation that's specifically labeled the wicked, you know. That's what nation that Elon Musk comes from. Man. He's not a damn prophet, you know. This man be saying he, he's an insider of what's, you know, what they want to, what they want to do and what they're going to do, but he's not a prophet. You know, I just want to get that out there. You know, because this man has said, you know, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. And he said different things about other situations, which, like I said, he's just an insider. That's all he is. He ain't nobody special, you know. He an Edomite. Um, I want to get this in the book of uh, Isaiah real quick. <clears throat> Isaiah 44. Uh I want to get verse 24 because, you know, we worship the, the true God, man. You know, he's, he's for the Israelites, man. And this time, he's only going to save the elect. It's Isaiah 44 and 24. 
right? And he's going to show these devils this in his time. I mean, he's already doing doing it with different things that Esau wants to do, like, you know, with the Vimic and getting everybody on the earth, you know, getting them incisioned up, you know, with that, that jab thing. You know, the, the, these devils is being found out to be liars. And I'm going to get that. The point is in verse 25, but I'm going to start at 24. It says, Thus said the Lord, thy Redeemer, and the and he that formed thee from the womb, I am the Lord that make up all things, that stretch forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself. You see, the Lord is bragging, which the Lord can do that, you know, that frustrateth the tokens of liars, right? And maketh diviners mad, that turneth wise men backward, whew, and maketh the knowledge foolish, you know? And that's what the Lord is doing with, you know, Esau, man. All this technology this man got, you know, hey, it, it ends up it ends up backfiring. It, it, he shows you that in his movies, you know, with the what's that movie called? I Robot with I Am Legend, or, or I think that's a different movie. It's just called I think it's I Robot. That's what it's called, or any other movie with their technology, and they show you just in other scenarios how how their technology is harmful to you. It does more harm than good. They paint it to you in a way that it's gonna be just good and no effects, man. If it was really good, it shouldn't really have no effects like that. Not no effects to where you're going to die or that's going to be the, the main thing that's going to happen to you. You know, the, the Lord has this man looking foolish, especially with these different demons they got. The Lord is allowing this man to expose himself and then he's allowing, you know, his current sayings in the past to be brought back up. And people are remembering what he said and they keep changing their ways. The Lord is making this man, you know, be exposed. He's making this man double minded, you know. It's uh, verse 26, it says, that confirmeth the word of his servant, right? The prophets, right? And performeth the counsel of his messengers, the prophets, that said to Jerusalem, thou shalt not be inhabited, and to the cities of Judah, you sh or Salaki, thou shalt be inhabited, to the cities of Judah, you shall be built, and I will raise up the, de the, the decayed places thereof. And the Lord is raising up the, the Israelites, man. Lord willing, by the Lord, by the, you know, we ain't gonna get to no year 2040 in this kingdom. We're gonna be in the kingdom. Way before then, you know, I believe that, you know, so this man ain't got long like he think he do, man, you know, saying they be putting out all these dates, man, you know, it's, uh, I'm gonna get this in Job 14, it's like I went to the wrong chapter, Job 14 and 5, it says, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee, thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass, you see that, so keep throwing out these dates and, you know, Keep expecting these things to get hit. It ain't gonna get hit. This devil has been planned on doing different things, but like before 2024, and it didn't happen. He keep pushing it back, you know, because the Lord is not, the Lord's not gonna allow him to do do things like he wants to do, you know. And it ain't gonna happen. Um, let me see if I can get this other scripture. This is a uh, Job 20 and. 22 says, In the fullness of his sufficiency, he should be in straits. Every hand of the wicked should come upon him. You see that? So, you know, the Lord is about to raise up his elect men with that spiritual power. We believe that, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down. You know? And these devils are building bunkers when they talk about some humanoid robots by 2040. Why y'all fleeing into bunkers when y'all believe that y'all gonna get to a certain point another 20, 30 years from now? Y'all wouldn't be building no bunkers if y'all really thought that y'all was going to be around that long. Y'all, these devils don't even know what they saying, you know? I'm going to get this in uh, James 1 and 8. Let me see. Because this man, is he's double-minded, right? It says, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. You see? The Lord is the one who controls everything. The Lord is the one who, you know, has things happen and pops off, you know? The Lord's going to show this man, you know, who, who's the real power, who's the real God. And Esau knows he exists, but through his pride, he ain't going to acknowledge him. He ain't going to, you know, tell you the truth because it wasn't made in him to do right, you know. He was made to be the wicked. You see? I'm going to say this in uh, Hebrews 12 and 16. Let me see. This is concerning Esau. I'm going to close out. This is Hebrews 12 and 16. It says, lest to be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who's for one more, who's for one more so meat sold his birthright. You see that? This devil, hey, you know, he's going to do anything for 
a, a chrono, you know, a couple second, you know, um, what's it, what's it called? Uh, satisfaction, you know, and that's what he's doing. He's gonna do everything he can to get that that couple second satisfaction before our Lord returns. But the Lord is gonna destroy him in the process. You see, so we ain't get to know twenty forty and. This man already got robots, you know. They just throwing out these days to throw you off. But don't they let we know that we ain't got that much time. We know that, Lord willing, you know we a part of that number. But you know I'm gonna close out until next time. I want to say shalom, and I want to say what above all, Lord willing, is edifying to the sheep. Shalom.